Hi everybody, so the postman's just been and Kerner Craft have very kindly sent over um, a couple of little bits for me which is really nice of them. They've sent over some beeswax and they've sent over some um, finger tape. So the brand name of this one is alligator tape. Now they messaged me a couple of days ago and said would it be alright if they sent me this over for me to have a look at and have a little trial of and I messaged back and said you know, I'm more than happy to, but beeswax is a very generic product. I've got absolutely loads of it. Like I said, we use it to lubricate blades, burrs, drill bits and stuff like this. And I just sort of said, you know, I'm going to be talking about beeswax anyway. Um, feel free to put your own brand one on the tools list when we do the monthly roundup. But it just seemed silly sort of sending something over that was so generic when I had tons of it already. But actually... I can see a real difference already. So first of all, because I use quite thin blades, I don't always lubricate them with the wax because we're cutting with a thin blade, thin material. It doesn't tend to sort of get stuck or stick too much, but I do use it all the time on drill bits and, and burrs and stuff like that. Um, and I do keep it, a lot of them, for students. So there's always, you know, wax on the go for people to use. Um, but it's quite, I don't know if you can see, it gets quite rough. This one is quite hard feeling. Um, so sometimes it has the opposite effect. If you put too much on it, it can clog up your blades, it can clog up your burrs. And because it's quite hard and rough, it just generally gets in the way. So let's say I use it quite a bit, but have a bit of a love-hate relationship with it. This one just already feels completely different. So it feels a lot smoother. It's not soft. It's still sort of got the hard consistency, but it feels softer. It's got a softer finish to it. So Colonel Craft get theirs made from a local um, supplier, local to them in Cornwall. And it's paler in colour than what I'm used to, but I just can't get over the smell. It has a really, really strong honey smell, which means it's purer and better quality than something like this, which just doesn't smell of anything at all. And like I say, it's much harder and rougher feeling. But it smells so delicious. I'm, I can't bet. I don't want to cut into it. <laughs> it's too pretty. But just the fact that it feels so much more buttery and soft, I get the impression it's not going to clog in the same way. Now, I don't know yet because I haven't tried it because like I, I can't bear to cut into it at the minute. Um, but... In a day or two, I'm going to be doing a demo of cutting thicker bits of metal. So when I come to that, I'm definitely going to be using this and I'll show you how I get on with it. But in the meantime, I'm just really impressed by the smell. <laughs> the other thing they sent over is some um, alligator tape or finger tape. It sometimes gets cold because it's for protecting your fingers. Now, one of the reasons that I don't make and sell full time is because I just, I just can't right when i was in my final year of uni in particular my hands got so bad that I, I could no longer pick anything up um and the skin was just you know splitting and it was horrible and i noticed when i was doing my 100 day project um the other year i was getting to the same stage so my hands were just getting absolutely ruined but equally i'm my own worst enemy <laughs> i never use any protection on my hands and they're always filthy and they're always a little bit sore now, there's a reason why I never use anything on my hands, um, which I shall share with you now. One of the reasons why I never sort of wear any sort of protection on my fingers is because when I first started out, um, so back in 1998, I ordered some finger tape because everybody raves about it and I thought it'd be a great thing to have. Now, I got it from a different supplier, so I got it from a well-known UK supplier and I thought I was just being daft, but in hindsight, I think there was actually a fault with the tape. So I just could not unroll it. It was only coming off in thick wads. And then because of that, I was trying to wrap it around my fingers and it wouldn't stick to itself. Or um, it was just so thick that I couldn't feel anything. I had lost all dexterity. So I ended up not using it. Well, I, li I literally couldn't use it because I couldn't get anything off the bloomin' roll. Um, and then when I went to university and my hands got bad again, I thought, you know, I'm going to give it another go. I ordered another reel of tape from the same supplier and had similar problems where I just could not get the blooming stuff to work. A few years ago, um, I decided to give it another go. So let's say everybody absolutely raves about this stuff, especially um, the one from Kerner Craft. 
Um, if you look on the social media, people are always sending in pictures where they've been using it and saying how much they love it. So I ordered some more, and this time it worked really, really well. But unfortunately, I'm a creature of habit, and because I was now, oh, I don't know, maybe 18 years into my silversmithing journey, I just couldn't get into the habit of putting it on my fingers because I was so used to working without. But we're doing more and more high polishing at the minute. So, for example, this one. And to do a high polish, the metal gets really hot because heat and friction um, are what help produce the polish. And if you hold it in something like a, a vise or a ring clamp, you can't tell how hot everything's getting and you can end up burning things or burning your fingers. So it has been in the back of my mind that I really need to get on board and start using this stuff because it really will help protect my fingers. Um, when you're doing anything manual and at the minute they are in a right state they're really getting a bit sore they're getting a bit you know cracked and dried out I need to do something about it so since they've sent this to me for free I feel that I really really need to make an effort to use it and therefore if I make an effort to use it and share it with you guys maybe I will get into the habit and actually start using it on a more regular basis so what you do is you start unraveling it wrap it around your finger of choice, fingers, just a couple of times will do. I'm going to trim the excess off and then I'm just going to pack it down tight and as you can see it sticks to itself but it's not sticking to your skin so it's not going to leave any residue behind which is great. And most people would put it on sort of four fingers or maybe your thumbs as well and it's just going to act as a little barrier when you're doing things where the metal gets really hot. So the great thing is that I'll still be able to feel that the metal's getting hot. It's not like putting it in one of the wooden hand vices or the plastic jaws, which we managed to melt last week because the metal was getting so hot. I'll be able to feel it heating up, but it's just gonna let me carry on working for a little bit longer compared to if I was doing it without the tape. And it also acts as a little barrier. So if you manage to, you know, if you're filing and you might have caught yourself and given yourself a little cut or same with the saw, it's just that little extra layer of protection. You know, if you proper go at your finger, it's still gonna cut through because it's lovely and smooth. So next time I'm doing my filing and especially the polishing with the heat, I am making a promise right now, I am going to use this and I'm going to do my utmost to get into the habit of using it because it is so quick and easy to use. It is just me being, let's say, a creature of habit and I find it quite difficult to get into new habits with things. But in theory, this would make a massive difference and because I know everybody else swears by it, I think it's important that I start looking after myself a little bit better. Um, but thank you, Kernacraft. Um, it can be so useful. And like I said, I'm just going to promise to use it let me know um, who does use it and who loves it because I know there's loads of you out there. I've seen quite a few of the posts already.